Michael Gray and Tara Gray were set to get married July 25th. But when the pandemic hit, those wedding plans went up in the air. We were doing a lot of planning and everything like that. So we were getting excited and everything and people were going to buy their tickets and whatnot. And um, yeah, it was heartbreaking that, you know, we planned for our big day and it wasn't going to happen. So they decided to get married sooner rather than later and move the big day up by two months to May 20th. We were thinking what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. So you know what? Let's just do this now. Turns out getting married during a pandemic would take a lot of work. Even getting the go ahead to hold a social distance wedding turned out to be complicated. Because we never know what's going to happen. It was, it's, so, it's so amazing because when we tried to get um, our license, we could not get a license because yeah. everywhere was closed. And there was only this one guy in Saskatoon, actually. He only had one left. Michael's family lives all over the world. Since they couldn't fly to Saskatchewan, they watched the ceremony safely online. Family and friends that could make it in person found ways to celebrate the big day while staying safe. We had 10 people at all times in the church and then we just told everybody to deck your vehicles up and after we got out of our ceremony that everybody we would go on a parade all around the city to make our way up to the casino. It was a beautiful wedding made possible by family, friends and the community. We were told um, at one time there was 245 know. people on, wow. on our, our group. Yeah. We had a wedding group um, on Facebook. Yeah, it was a, a live party. yeah watch party and that's where we were holding it but then other people were going live on their video yeah, on their so. Facebook. But the adventure yeah. wasn't over yet. After the ceremony and car parade Tara fell and had to be taken to the ER in her wedding dress. So we were going to take off after our pictures. She was just moving a chair just down, you know, down, not even, a, not even two steps. <laughs> and she hit the chair on the step and I was standing there and she just went flying. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, it happened so fast. Yeah. And we we're like, you know what? We got to get you to the hospital. They spent the honeymoon in the ER. Luckily, the bride didn't break her foot, but it's swollen and badly sprained. Once Mr. and Mrs. Gray can travel again, they plan to have a real honeymoon, and they already have the destination picked. Totally it's Jamaica. <laughs> I'm so ready to go back to Jamaica. <laughs> it, yeah, Jamaica in a heartbeat. Yeah, because they, yeah, they would love to put something on there. Priscilla Wolf, AP10 National News, Saskatoon.